Today we're going to be doing a brief review of the Victorinox 2-in-1 knife sharpener and also I will have a channel update at the end of this video um, but I, did, I didn't want to bore you guys with the start of the video being that so uh, let's go ahead and free this thing from its cardboard prison. So if we examine this it says made in Germany and then the label says it is made in the European Union which obviously Germany is in the EU. So uh, the material that this is made out of is a, obviously a polymer type material and it has a, a weird feel to it. Not like a Sharpie where it's slick, but it kind of is a grippy material. So it allows you to grip and pull apart. We have a ceramic sharpener here. And again, as well as the pull-through ceramic rods here. And here's a size reference. Here is a Vitornox Super Tanker. And here's a sharpener. So, this is actually the first Swiss Urban if I ever got. Um, you guys have seen this one a few times now. And its sharpness is, I would say, functionally sharp. I don't use this that much anymore, but it still has a functional edge. And I can't believe I'm gonna be doing this, but I'm gonna kill it. Guys, I'm cringing as much as everybody else is, but we gotta do it. Terrible. This thing is probably dull now. It feels dull. That's me putting a lot of force into that. Oh man, it's cringeworthy, right? Um, let's see if the sharpener can bring it back to life, shall we? So, um, there's two ways to use this. Obviously, we can use the pull-through sharpener, and we can do this. Or, we can do this. And we can just I'm just going to go like this and freehand it. I apologize about the camera angle. I am um, not really paying attention to it as I'm looking over the camera instead of through it. And it's starting to come back a little bit. little bit let's go ahead and try this again and as you see a little less force than before the edge is starting to return but that's how you use it freehand let's go ahead and use it like so
Guys, after just a few minutes, I believe we're at where we were at before. Uh, that functional sharp, and it was pretty easy uh, pull through. You can see that there's some material on there now. But overall, I think this definitely would work as a pocket sharpener. You see this trend nowadays to you know have these small pocket sharpeners, and I think this would make a really great addition for an EDC bag. That's actually why I purchased this, and you know I went ahead and <laughs> sacrificed my Swiss Army knife uh, blade there for you guys. Uh, man, it made me cringe. It really did. Um, Overall, uh, this product is less than $20. I would definitely recommend it for this uh, just small demonstration that I did. Um, I would definitely recommend this product for the price. It would make a great addition to a bag. As far as a uh, pull-through sharpener goes, I really don't like pull-through sharpeners because most of the time they're all junk, right? It's very rare when you get a really good one. And I think we have a really good one here. There's another one that I've been using recently and you'll actually see it in the channel update portion of the video, which is going to be in the next few seconds. And uh, guys, uh, definitely recommend this. Um, that being said, I'm gonna go into the uh, next part is the channel update. And uh, my wife had worked really hard to uh, redo my man cave area. Uh, we had, you know, invested in uh, different uh, setup here for the. I uh, got rid of the kitchen table that was in here, and now I'm filming on a desk. Um, you're gonna see different uh, different sets kind of come and go, um, setups on the table. Uh, just something cool for you guys to look at every couple of videos. I might switch it out, um, but the direction of the channel is gonna be changing a little bit. Uh, I definitely have a lot of cool knife reviews coming up and a little bit of more gun content. I know the, the gun ownership stuff is kind of controversial, but I'm a huge gun guy as much as I am a knife guy. Uh, actually, that kind of drives me to be a knife guy is because uh, guns are expensive, guys. You know, I can get a really decent knife for, you know, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever. Um, not that I have a $200 knife yet. Um, getting close though, actually. Um, but anyways, um, you know, I figured I would give you guys a, a bit of the channel update, what's going on. Uh, videos are going to be changing a little bit. I'm still going to focus on knife content, don't worry. Uh, but I'm going to be bringing in a new series um, of basically me fixing up an, uh, something that a co-worker slash friend had sold to me. Um, that's not replacing the knife content. That's still going to stay here. I'm going to be trying to bring you guys more knife reviews this year. Um than I did in the past couple of years. Um, I definitely purchased you know, quite a few expensive knives uh, and I'm going to be doing another batch of more expensive knives. Uh, one of them being as the Laol here from France. That was, a, it's, wow, this is one of my dream knives and I'm so glad that I have it. Um, but, you know, that being said, some of the things that are changing again is I'm going to be doing just a little bit more gun content. Um, not a whole lot more, just just a little bit more. Uh, and to show you guys what it was that uh, that my uh, coworker slash friend had sold me was this little bad boy. So uh, it needs a little bit of work. Uh, this is a Caltech PF9. Um, it does need some work, but other than that, we're gonna be doing a series on me working on this. Um, kind of vlog style. Um, but I don't want to spoil that content. That will be coming in the near future. Um, there's a thing that I wanted to ask everybody is if you could do me a favor, if you made it this far, um, 
post where you're from, uh, what country you're from, if you're if you feel comfortable to say. Um, I'm working on the project now, and I would really like the help of everybody um, who is willing to help me on this. I want to document, um, as current date is, uh, what knife laws you have to deal with, right? I want to do an entire series on knife laws around the world. Uh, and I would like to do some research on each country, but I would like to um, maybe do an interview with, you know, one person from each country or whatever uh, to see, you know, basically the what you guys have to deal with, right? So that being said, guys, uh, I definitely have some plans going on for the channel. Video production might be slowing down. I want to put a little bit more work into the channel um, and maybe more voiceover content. This is just from the phone, I know. Um, the video is a little bit more crisp from the phone, but the audio isn't as good. So, anyways, guys, tell me what you think about the knife sharpener. If you like the review, and tell me about you know, you know anything. What 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 country are you from? Uh, if you'd be willing to help me with your you know with your knife laws to basically uh, you know help me do the research, uh, maybe come on the channel and explain uh, what you have to deal with in your home country, in America. And a lot of people know this because uh, Americans love the internet. We love getting around on the internet. But uh, it really just depends on where you live. So, you know, knife laws here, I can carry, uh, in my home state, I can carry a broadsword if I wanted to down the, down the street. Um, city municipalities may have something on it. Um, but, you know, it's something like this. Totally cool, right? Uh, you try this maybe in California. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, definitely not in New York, right? So, uh, at least city. So it, it just depends on where you're at um, in America for what you can and can't carry. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, if you guys have a video request, let me know. Also, I have gotten a lot of flack recently for the, uh, <laughs> the thin red line mat that I use. Um, <laughs> it's just... Trolls will be trolls, I guess, but, you know, everyone's like, you shouldn't use the American flag as a, as a background or whatever, or as a, um, as a mat. But it's a, it's a rubberized mat. Like, it, it's meant for gun cleaning. If you don't like it, just take it up with the company that made it. <laughs> but, like I said, trolls will be trolls, right? So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I hope everyone is being uh, safe and healthy and um, go ahead and leave me a comment. Thanks.